Peace, everybody. It's your boy. Let's talk. We're back with another video. All right, man. So I'm out here walking. Uh, let's talk about how now, if you really think about it, places like North Korea, Russia, China, um, Iran, all these other different places that we consider big threats towards America, they're not really the biggest threats to our country anymore, if you really think about it. The biggest threat to America right now is Americans. Like, that's real talk. And that's, you can include the citizens. Um, There's always noise, right? But you can include the citizens and you can include the the establishment as well, the, the political uh, figureheads, is all the above. And let me try to explain what I'm talking about. Because if you really look at it, Americans don't really put other Americans' interests first anymore. It's all about immigrants and, and migrants. You know, they worry about them. All these other refugees from Ukraine and, and uh, you got government officials giving all these illegal migrants housing. They're giving them food stamps, giving them money, relocation. They're giving them all this stuff. And you had so many people, when all this stuff was going down, supporting it. And when you had uh, the few who were saying that this can go left, um, it did go left. It, it went real left. And now, who are suffering for it? The American uh, citizens, the American people who were born and raised here. Um, the foundation of this country, that's who's suffering. You got uh, villain swelling gang, uh, taking over housing projects in different places in Chicago, in New York, like, it, 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 it's madness and not even just with the, the migrants but just just in general just the, the whole the attitude like there's no unity there's no love there's no support for one another not unless you're just a, a person of status and then you're just going to have love and support because people just like the fandom they really don't like you it's just like the the, the, the star power of you not really you as a person and um I just think that it is is crazy because I've never thought that I would be living in a world where like now I wish that shoot I wish I was born in another country like maybe like uh like in some type of foreign land like Australia somewhere like somewhere down under like, I don't want to be part of this stuff like yeah, no, no, I know we got the, like we got perks over here as Americans that you don't got other places and that's the that's like the that's the thing that keeps people here because like when you think about it consider other places like this this place is like more freer and uh, and the laws are more leniency. It's like prime example. If you do a crime over here and you do the exact same crime over like Dubai or China or some shit, <laughs> the punishment is going to be real more severe over there than it is over here. Like you 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 would want to be over here doing a crime, a certain type of crime. You do, you do not want to be in another country. It's like Mexico. You don't want to be caught doing some type of illegal stuff in Mexico. No, you tripping, bro. Not in Russia, none of that. So, uh, those are like the perks of it. And access. You probably got more access to things. But the dollar value, the transfer, 
it's different in other countries. So you can still make a, a good living over at certain countries, especially if you're American, if you have American skills and trades, and you can take it elsewhere and bring it to another land where they're not really used to it and accustomed to it, and you can make a profit off of it. But it's just so bad over here. Like, the it's, it's like now, like the good is not really outweighing the bad, to be honest with you. And once you start learning how to be more self-sufficient and learn how to take care of yourself and grow your own food and uh, do stuff like that and not really worry about the materials and like all the, the tangibles, then you start thinking about like downsizing and not really worrying about the, the access anyway because you really don't care. As long as you got like your needs and some of your wants, then you, you, you good. My mentor used to tell me back when I was young, I didn't understand it then, but I do now. He used to always say 10% of something is a whole lot better than 100% of nothing. And uh, like I said, back then I didn't get it. Me being a 40-year-old man, I totally understand everything he was saying about that now. And uh, I agree because I would trade certain access being over here for... Um, you know, living uh, somewhat more peaceful. I don't think none of us can truly find peace until we meet the Creator, but as much peace as we can possibly get here on this planet, yeah, I, I would want that. But, uh, yeah, I just think that yeah, Americans just don't like Americans anymore. Americans don't respect Americans anymore. And because of that, uh, Americans are the biggest threat to Americans. It's no longer the other nations. It's no longer the other countries. It's Americans versus Americans. And I think the quicker people start realizing that, then um, the more people can start prepping and getting prepared for the inevitable SHTF. Because it's going to happen. The shit is going to hit the fan sooner rather than later. And when it does, myself, I want to try to be at least prepared as possible. So I can get me and my family out of Dodge. So that's what I'm doing. And I want to know what y'all going to do too. But that's all I got for now, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Drop your comments down below. Make sure I hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see y'all the next one. Peace.